Welcome to the NWR Resources Investment Series. My name is Kerry Stevenson. And next up, we have Midas Minerals. The ASX code is MM1. Joining me today is Mark Caldwood. He's their technical advisor. Now, Midas Minerals, they're exploring in the highly prospective gold fields area of Western Australia. For not just gold, but gold, base metals, and those really little sexy PGEs everyone's talking about at the moment. Mark, great to see you. Let's go through the presentation. If you get too technical on me, I'm going to ask you a question. Over to no you. worries. Thanks, Gary. Um, those who don't know, MM1 or Midas has just, just listed back in recently in September. So we've we've just hit the hit the ground running. Um, the the tenements we've had have a, a, a strong, strong um, strong potential. I won't um, won't dwell on the uh, disclaimer. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it as read by everybody. So we've got some um, three projects. Uh, as Kerry mentioned, we're targeting not only gold but uh, some associated base metals and and, and PGEs, etc. Um, we've got the projects are all in good settings, very strong locations, uh, good historic information. And importantly, not not much work being done on them in the last 20 years. So they've mi missed the last uh, boom period. Uh, we're in the process of drilling at the moment on, on the Weibo project. And we have a large VTM survey or electromag survey uh, booked for the Chella project. And that should, should start at the end of this month or early September, sorry, early um, November. Uh, decent cash reserves, as we just listed, we've, we, we had, we had good cash balance prior to listing. We had about uh, two and a half million. We raised another six million. Uh, so that means we've got a, because we've only got 64 million shares on issue, we've got a very low enterprise value. We're very, because of our low market cap, our high cash, uh, we're, we're, we have an excellent uh, high leverage um, market cap and EV. Project locations, um, the Weibo project is near Linster. Uh, might need, need a Thunderbox for those might know that mine. Uh, the Chella project over near Mount Magnet and Sunset down near Leonora, all, all, all major names in the, in, the, in the gold mining sector. Um, as I mentioned, shares on issue, 64 million shares, uh, solid cash, a decent shareholding by management. Uh, I'm the, actually the largest shareholder, put a fair bit of money into this. So I'm a believer in the company, so to speak, in more ways than one. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it's, it's management's um, um, in there, it's got skin in the game. Uh, there's a lot of sharehold, small shareholders because we, 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 the history of Midas was it was spun out of um, Tawana uh, back in uh, 2018. Uh, so it's been, it has a lot of small shareholders, uh, a lot of unmarketable parcels as well. It's a very tightly held company um, and uh, good cash balance and good low market cap. Uh, solid board uh, with experience in exploration, in, in mining, in, in uh, corporate matters, quite quite broad, quite comprehensive uh, board, board uh, with a good mix of experience and, and uh, enthusiasm. So. That, that, that's a key for Midas, I think, and 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 I'm I'm there. I have, for those that don't know, a fair bit of history, success in in gold exploration. I've I've been involved with several world class gold deposits discoveries, and I was previously uh, CEO of um, Perseus, and I took that from a uh, a penny dreadful, you know, or from a micro cap like bit like um, MM1 up to a ASX 100, 1.6 billion dollar market cap company. So um i've seen i've worked at both ends of this spectrum and everything in between so taking from the junior end uh the exciting stage and and, and finding the deposits as quickly as possible and, and then uh, taking it all the way through to production uh we've got a number of consultants and contractors that we uh that we rely on uh as well um Weibo, Weibo project um it's probably the most exciting of the gold projects. Uh, to give you some idea where we're located, we're, we're smack in between the Thunderbox operations, which is about 4.7 million ounces, from, including historic production, uh, and the Bronze Wing Aurelia. Um, that 
that's another four, four over four million ounce project. Uh, and we're just to the west of the Darlow, which is another four million ounce project. So we're surrounded by big deposits that were, are relatively high grade for, for Eastern Goldfields, highly profitable. Uh, Thunder Box is, is Northern Star's lowest cost producer, I believe. Mm. Um, so, you know, high grade, big deposits. Uh, we're holding a big, we're holding about 60 kilometres strike of that, uh, that Southern Yando gold belt. Um, and we've got about a total of 200, 450 square kilometres of which half is ready to work on and the other half uh, is applications. Um, so we're in the right area, historic, historic work being done there, but not much in the last uh, 20 years. They, we got these assets off prospectors and the prospectors have been sitting on them for a long time, picking up nuggets and so forth, and, and no real work's been done on them since gold recovered uh, in the early 2000s. Hey, Mark, have uh, those prospectors uh, kept any uh, skin in the game with the Midas company? Or yes, they, just... they purchased shares on, uh, on the prospectors. They got some, of course, through the, through the deal we did with them, but not a lot. Um, but actually, yeah, they actually put money into the float as well. So uh, they have, they got skin in the game. Um, yeah. Uh, as I mentioned, the Weibo, Weibo project we're drilling at the moment. So we, we, we're about 40% oh, way through of an Air Corps and RC drilling program at the moment. Uh, it's quite quite a large one. It's about 12,500 metres, I hope. Um, we're drilling about seven kilometres strike of, of the Ockerberry Shear. And, and then as, the Ockerberry Shear is a very important one. It's the one that hosts uh, Thunderbox mine to the south of us. Oh. And we're also looking at Scone Stone and, and Otto. They're all, all um, areas we know are mineralised, but haven't had any modern drilling, not for two decades, essentially not for two decades. And the early work that was done there was shallow and it was, it was rab drilling. It didn't count for a lot, but we know it's mineralised. We're just trying to find out where the best areas are so we can um, follow that up with some perhaps resource drilling if we get some success. Otherwise, we'll just keep following up targets. At the same time, we we are um, auger drilling for geochem, geochem sampling. Uh, a couple of areas that you can see on the map, there's a couple there, it's near south of Samuel and the north of Samuel, and a few others on the project area that are mineralized, but so little work's been done. We just want to get our head around where the best place to start uh, um, initial drilling would be for those areas. So we've got about four or five areas that we're, we're working up into to, to drill status. And we've got those three areas that we're drilling at the moment. So a lot of samples in the lab. We've got about 2,600 samples in the lab this week and we've got another thousand coming down next week. So the news flow will start becoming quite strong in, in, in anywhere from five to six weeks time from, from now. Um, but maybe a bit earlier, we'll get some results. So it's all about, unfortunately, that's how slow WA is at the moment with assays. <laughs> yeah, um, we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're not stopping. We're getting a, we, we're getting a lot of work happening. Um, and and we'll have all a lot of information um, around early December um, and coming in at the in maybe mid mid November onwards, we'll have some some news flow. Um, as I mentioned, um, we're, we're drilling the right geological setting for big deposits. We're doing fairly wide space drilling. We're looking for um, the bigger size deposits. Uh, my background is more focused on bigger deposits. That's our, our, um, our as my background is looking, I prefer to focus on, you know, multi-million ounce uh, targets. Uh, if we find smaller stuff, it's in an area Smaller deposits are still useful in this area because there's a few plants around the area that will be a bit hungry for, um, mm. for ore. Um, you've got Darlow to the east and, and you've got um, some plants being looked at to the west. Um, I think Northern Star is to, even Thunderbox itself, they're increasing the size of that plant to 6 billion tonnes per annum. That's the target. It's going to be a big operation because they're, they're going to truck their bronze wing Aurelia deposits to, to, to Thunderbox that she just comes past our door actually. Uh, that should the, the hauling of that ore. So a lot happening in the area, and I think you'll see quite a bit of success in that in this belt, South Yando belt in the coming uh, the coming years. Uh, the Chalagol project. It's um, 
located 50 kilometres east of uh, Mount Magnet. It's halfway between Mount Magnet and Sandstone, not far from you and me. Uh, people might know Penny West, and we're north of that as well. Uh, very large um, igneous complex, a uh, mafic complex, a bit like the same geology as um, what um, uh, the, the Chulamar deposit, but much, oh, much bigger. Us. Yeah, uh, much, much bigger um, uh, complex. It's got PGEs, we know that. There's some historic work being done there and, and picked up um, quite anomalous PGE mineralization. There's also gold and copper. There's got historic small gold producers there. Uh, there's high grade copper being found as well, but very little work being done in the last 20 years. It's been tied up in, in, in very juniors that never have never done the work. Um, we're planning to start, we'll, we'll start off doing a, a VTEM survey to pick up sulfides, um, a fairly large one covering 133 square kilometres, which is you know, only about a fifth of our land holding, but it's, it's a good start. It's, it's an area that's got lot, multiple different styles of mineralization, uh, a lot of evidence of copper and gold and, and, and um, PGEs. We could drill some of these targets straight away, but we thought we'd be, let's get this, this survey done. We're gonna, we've got geochem starting as well. We've done some already, but we've got the, the program starting up again tomorrow. And um, with a combination of a bit more geochem, some solid uh, VTEM survey data, um, we'll have some some nice drill targets in the new year out of out of these. Um, um, what what Mark, are we looking? For? Mm -hmm. Mark, sorry to interrupt you, but <laughs> I mean you've been around for a while. You've been successful. Uh, you said that this was with a couple of companies. Um, they didn't really do much with it. How did you? What what attracted you to this? What did you see about this that you said, you know what, they're not doing anything. I know I can make this one work. Yeah, so it was held by Prospect again, and, and he was able to accumulate a fairly large holding, the 800 square kilometres. So uh, yeah. we approached him and we did a deal with him. Um, and uh, that was what it took. It took someone to actually do the effort to accumulate all the land holding. Um, because it was quite fragmented historically. And um, so that was a perfect opportunity for us. And actually those settlements are actually in our name. Uh, the Weibo project still requires an exercise of an option. It's cost us, yeah. on the Weibo project cost us about $600,000 to exercise. It's sort of quite a low uh, exercise price, but we'll, we'll do that on the back of significant drill holes. We don't, we're just not gonna do that without seeing some, some decent hits out of that one. On 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 Challa, um, we picked it up for a reasonable price. It is it needs it needs a lot of cleanup work on it, uh, but that was the main thing. Is that someone had made the effort to put it all put it all together, and uh, we I knew this I knew this guy I knew the guys from Leonora back for twenty years when I was involved with Tatmula. So um, talking to people that I was talking to more than 20 years ago, 30 years ago, dare I say, <laughs> um, uh, talking to guys I knew, prospectors that I knew and I could talk with and, and, and get these projects moving for them as well as, well as us. So, um, yeah, it's relationships. Yeah. So good thing about Midas is we have a good, good flow of uh, projects to, to, to look at. We've got the four drill ready, uh, sunset as well. Sunset, we've got the holes marked out. We just need to get them cleared. We might drill that before Christmas. There's a chance we'll drill that one sunset before Christmas, but it's a low priority project at this stage. Um, but Ockerberry, Sconestone, Otto, we're drilling all them in this month and next. Um, Weibo, uh, pre-drill definition. So all the geochem work that's been going on at, that's, that's going on uh, at Weibo is, is testing those, getting those four areas up to drill drill status. Uh, Chala, we've got the GEOCAM and the VTEM working on that to get those up to drill status. So we're gonna have a good flow of drill targets coming into the new year as well. So we'll have results from the first set and we'll have new set of targets, additional set of targets to add to that in the new year. And uh, we've got a bunch of other prospects too that we'll follow up, follow up over the coming months. Uh, a good project. We spent a lot of time looking at the data, the historic data, 
and and uh, we've we've finished the geophysics already at Weibo, for instance. We haven't done the interpretations yet, but that's underway at the moment. So all that's in the bag. We've started that back in June, May, May and June before, well before we listed. Right. So uh, it's all coming. And that, that VTEM server that's happening in early November, we booked that back in June. That's how long you've got to wait to get these sort of programs done. Um, so investment highlights, um, you know, low, very low enterprise value, good cash in the bank, uh, low market cap. So that this is this is this is designed to pop if we get some good results, um, and we've got quality projects, good areas, and they're advanced to drilling stage. Uh, and we're not relying on one one prospect. We we we'll always make sure we drill multiple prospects at any, any given time, increases your odds. Um, if you'll get some good results out of one or two of those areas. So we, we never do things one at a time. We've got multiples going on multiple fronts. Um, um, even though the goal focus is goal, we, we are commodity agnostic um, uh, at, at, at Midas. I mean, we have, we have on the board experience with obviously the base metals, but also lithium uh, with myself. Uh, so we we are commodity agnostic. We will not we will not only be focused on gold and base metals. We we will keep a pretty broad um, broad mind on all that. And I guess the key key also to 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 good cash and low market caps and low EVs is is, is good team, strong solid team. Yeah. Um, and that's that's key. And and some of us have worked together before, so um, it's it's good relationships that work together and and. Um, and cover the spectrum that's required by boards, you know. So, um, yeah, I'll throw it across to any questions, if there's any. Absolutely. Uh, Mark, thank you so much. And yeah, um, I remember the days of Perseus when that first started, and it seems to be like, he, he's back um, and he's ready to rock. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening, if you wanna ask a question to Mark, pop it in the Q&A in the chat box, and I promise you, I will ask Mark the question. Meanwhile, because they're a bit slow, I'm going to ask you this, Mark, the, the, the projects that you've picked up, was location important to you? In other words, they're all um, in WA, um, a lot of them in that sort of goldfields area, close to infrastructure. Is that important? I know it's early. I know you've just listed. I know that this is definitely exploration at the moment, but would you use the infrastructure of some of the mills in the area when the time came to save on, on your your capex. Yes, it's it's a criteria we use when we look at projects. If they, it, it makes a big difference if they're close to infrastructure, because yeah. if you find a half million ounce deposit or a hundred thousand ounce deposit, you can do something with it. Yeah, that's uh, also good roads, good power. If you want to build your own mine, you've got lots of infrastructure, and they're all actually not too far from each other. So we can get from the furthest two projects we can get to within about four four hours. So they're all you know, relatively close. So we, we can shoot. We've we've done it before. We've shoot one people, some people from one project to the next quite quickly. Uh, three hours later or two hours later, they're at the next next project. So you don't want them scattered all over Australia. You don't want them scattered all over WA. We, we, from a working point of view, if you can keep them all close together, it makes a big difference. And you've only just listed in September, and you've hit the ground running pretty hard. Um, Sunset, you didn't really say you were going to do much with. Is that just sort of sitting in the background? Uh, because really your most exciting one you mentioned was Weibo. Is that the focus at the moment? Yeah, Weibo and Shell are the two main projects. Sunset, it has some old gold gold mines on them, little little gold mines, and um, never been drilled. So it's a simple, it's a small small project, only 1.3 square kilometres. So we've got the drill holes planned. We'll drill them, and either we'll get something, which is great, it's only 10 kilometres from Leonora, or right. we won't. So that project's a... Is drill ready and it's and it's a do or die project for, uh, drill program for that project. So, what's the time? Oh, well, sorry, Mark. What's the proposed timeline for that? Oh, uh, I'm not sure yet. We might even drill it with this current rig that we've got at the moment. If if we go well on the other project and we're ahead of time, we might go and drill 20 odd holes we've got marked out. I think it's 26 holes we've got marked out at sunset. Whether we drill them before Christmas or after, I don't know. At the stage, it comes down to the uh, the drillers a bit too. Uh, Chez uh, questions here says, when can we expect results from Weibo? Well, uh, really yeah, no, drilling results for Weibo, I would expect in 
in late November. Um, we'll get some other results come through beforehand, Geochem, but everyone's, I mean, most people are hanging on the draw results. They'll start coming in uh, late November, I hope, and into early December. I've got a better idea once I get um, some confirmation from the labs, but that's what I'm thinking. It'll, hopefully we'll have some better idea in, it's certainly this, in, in, in this, this quarter, we'll get some results, draw results. Uh, what's your burn rate, Mark? Because uh, you, you've got cash in the bank, you've got low market cap. Yeah, the, the yeah, the burn rate for this program, for the, for up until Christmas is about about, about another 800000 to a million dollars between uh, for this quarter. Um, um, but our burn rate to, up to date has been pretty low. Uh, we're, we're not very geared with people. We use a lot of contractors, as I mentioned. So this quarter is probably a million dollar quarter. Um, that's, I guess, one of the bigger quarters we have because we're Big, fairly big drilling program, but um, you know, I'll be looking at that sort of number. Uh, okay, and and, then, and that's good because that's what you want. Yeah, if if the burn rate's high because the drill bit's going in the ground, that's how you make a discovery. It's, and very high percentage on ground expenditure. Uh, my final question is: If uh, you were talking to an investor right now um, who was going, well, I might take a look at this. What what would you say is the reason to uh, become a shareholder of Midas Minerals right now? Well, I think it's the cheapest you're going to see it. We're, we're, we're trading it at the moment below listing price. So it's it's cheap. It's it, the EV is almost at shell EV at the moment. So you're, going to, you're not going to get it much cheaper than this. It's, it's got a lot more chance to go up than down, if you understand where I'm coming from. It, with with an EV of uh, $4 million uh, or less, it, you're, you're, you're talking about it's got a lot, more, a lot more chance of going up than down at the moment. So it's a very cheap cheap entry point well and also ladies and gentlemen he's done it before he'll probably do it look do your own research do your own due diligence what was it read that disclaimer statement but uh, some exciting projects there mark i'm going to be following you very closely really great to have you at the nwr virtual resources series today good luck with it all and we'll look forward to the updates thanks gary cheers